Scotty, I don't know if there could be a better start for a kid's first rookie game in terms of being perfect from the field, but take us inside the box score more than that. What did you like about Denny's first game tonight? Uh, that he competed, that he took the challenge. Uh, he was playing against some high-level players, players that have a lot of success in this league that have experience, but he took the challenge. Talked to him before the game. The only pressure that I will put on you is just go out there and play hard. And I, I said, you do that already. So that, that's the pressure. The pressure is gone. Just go out there and play hard. That's how you gain respect from your teammates. That's how you gain respect from your opponent. That's how you gain respect from the referees. Go out there and play hard. Don't complain about nothing. Just do your job. And I thought he did that tonight. He's not going to go every game and not miss a shot. But he played, he played the right way. He wasn't looking to force anything. If there was a pass, he made the pass. Open shot, he made the open shot. He drove when he had to drive. I thought he just he was solid. And in order to have success in this league, you really got to just be solid. The spectacular is only happens occasionally. But if you're solid, you're going to have big-time success in this league. I'm going to ask you about Rory tonight. Um, there was clearly an adjustment in the third quarter for him. Last season in the bubble, he was priority number one offensively for your team. Was that the case again tonight? And where did you see his, his growth? Yeah. I mean, in that first quarter, I thought we just, uh, whatever, whatever it was, first game, uh, jitters, uh, we're, always, we're always playing. We were playing timid. We were, weren't playing with any force. Uh, we talked about it at halftime, and I thought they competed the right way. Uh, like I said about Danny, you gain, you gain your opponent's respect by challenging them. I don't care if they're all-stars. I don't care if they're former MVPs. That's how, that's how you play. And no matter who's in front of you, you got to have that same mentality. I thought we did that in the second half. For whatever reason, we didn't start the game that way. Uh, Quentin? Coach, we talked to you earlier this week, and you said you just wanted to see effort from this team from start to finish. Do you feel like you saw effort from everyone tonight? Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Uh, like I said, no, the, the, the thing that it's hard to overcome, you give a team 45 free throws on the road. Uh, but I thought we still battled. We had a chance to, chance to win the game down the stretch. I know they didn't play uh, some of their guys down the stretch, but you know that's neither here nor there. We didn't play some of our guys throughout the game. I thought we, I thought we competed pretty hard. We for that that start of that first quarter. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what was we think. We didn't play like that all all training camp. We didn't do that the, the remaining three quarters as well. And also for Raul Neto, he had a pretty good game tonight. I mean, it was a quiet one, but he finished with what seventeen points, six assists, and a steal. What did you like from him controlling the pace and just being that floor general for this team tonight? Yeah, I, I think he gets it. Uh, you know, he, he, uh, he's been in the league, he understands. And I think he just what I t said about, you know, with, um, with Rui, all you have, in this league, all you have to do is be solid. And I mean, that's not easy, but if you're solid, you're going to have success throughout the game, throughout the year, and throughout your career. And I think he, he displayed that throughout the game. I don't think he, he did anything spectacular, but he did everything good. Uh, that's why he's going to be in the league for a long time. Uh, because he plays like that way, and he's a good shooter. He gets to the free throw line. He just knows how to play. He's played. He's played some. You know, he plays with the physicality. Plays with the defensive mindset, and he doesn't. He doesn't try to do things that he's not capable of doing. He's not experimenting on the court. But I thought he. I thought he was solid. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, last year we saw Rui kind of hang around that. 12 to 19 foot range a lot and and tonight he was he was more spaced in the three and when he went inside the three-point line especially in the first half he was like he was fighting for post position and trying to get into the paint is is that something that you've seen in in training camp and, and, and something you think it's going to be more consistent with his spacing moving forward or was that just kind of a the way he approached tonight no i i think things that we've been working on throughout last season throughout the bubble and throughout this off season is him taking some range, getting some range on his shot, shooting with more arc, being confident. I think he, he has done that. I give him a lot of credit. He has done that. He's come back a better three point shooter. Uh, he's going to be confident. I think this is the start of it and he's going to hopefully continue to build on this and, and throughout his career become a better three point shooter, but he also has to mix it up. 
thing is you got you got some advantages down low. I think you got to be able to um, put some pressure on them and, and take advantage of that. Don't let him off the hook by floating around the 15, 16. I think he was doing that last year almost because that's his comfort area. But I think now that he's more comfortable with what we need from him, either score low, down low, if he has a, an advantage or step out and take threes. The thing that he's going to continue to improve on, it wasn't there tonight, is getting to the free throw line. I think that's that's something that I think it, sometimes it takes the younger players, you know, three or four, even sometimes five years. Look, even looking at even Brad, how good Brad is, took him about three, four or five years to finally realize that, you know, he can sp spread the, his offense all throughout the floor, and he gets to the free throw line eight times last season. He uh, he told us uh, earlier last week, I want to say, uh, that he gained I forget what he said, ten pounds, fifteen pounds. And it was all muscle. Do you do you see that showing anywhere in his game right now? Yeah, I mean, you're talking about Rui. Yeah, Rui. Okay, I thought you talked about me there for a second. No, um, Rui. Rui has gotten stronger. He's gotten stronger. He's gained. He's gained some. He's gained some good. Um, some muscle. Uh, but he's always, for some reason, I don't know. He just has that almost like. His body is. He's on the slender side, especially last year. But he was always strong. Strong for his. Um, for his. His built. But I think he's gained a few pounds, and it's muscle. He's a tough kid. He works hard, but I, I like the fact that he mixes it up, not just floating around. I think he's more comfortable within the offense, and he knows what he needs to do. And he's going to get better. He's going to keep improving on it. Chase. Scott, uh, Denny's speed with the ball in transition, it, his size seems to be pretty special. We saw it uh, toward the end of the first half on that buzzer beater. Uh, what can you say about his potential as a point forward and how value that, valuable that could be in your offense? Well, it gives us uh, another guy. Um, you know, we have, we have pretty two dynamic um, guards that, that, can, that, can, that can play make. We always need extra guys that can do that. But I think his, his toughness, his uh, speed with the ball definitely uh, – is pretty good, and I think he's going to continue to improve in those areas of handling the ball. And what did you think about just seeing his shooting in game action? You got you guys have told us how you think his mechanics are fine, and he's expressed confidence in his shooting. Um, what was it like to see it live today? It was good. He's a good shooter. I've, I've said it from day one. I thought, I thought when I first saw him shoot, um, you know, you watch film on him. When, before we were going to draft him and draft night, watching more film on him after. Uh, he's a good shooter, but now I've seen him live. He is. He's going to, and he's going to get better. He works hard. He has good mechanics uh, tonight. You know, he obviously was perfect tonight. Uh, don't expect that all the time, but I thought, I thought he's take, he took good shots and every shot he took, he was, he, he felt confident in it. I will go with Ava for the last question. Um, Coach, I wanted to ask you about um, Rui's defense. You guys gave him a lot of the tougher defensive assignments in the bubble, obviously did that tonight again. Did you see that he was able to build on anything from the bubble? Obviously, putting off with that defensive assignment, but what did you see from him there? Was that, you say Rui or TV? Rui. Yeah, Rui, I, yeah, he, he, I mean, he had the, probably the, he probably had the toughest player in the league uh, offensively that he's going to have to guard this year, KD. Is a handful for for anybody in this league to guard, and a lot of times, you know, you, you no matter what you do, he's has a way to way to get buckets. He has so many areas of the floor. But I thought Rui challenged himself to make it tough, make his catches difficult, make his shot attempts tough. Uh, don't give him any easy looks and keep him off the keep him off the line as much best he can. But I thought Rui was solid throughout the throughout the night defensively. That's that's another bright spot. And then um, when Russ was standing over you there with the clipboard, was he actually drawing up a play for you? Or was he just, is that a problem? No, no I, I don't, no. <laughs> and I don't, I wouldn't listen to him anyway. <laughs> but I, I don't, at that time, I don't think, I think he was probably going to, I think he was going to help one of the young fellas um, on one of the maybe missed assignments that they did. That's, that's the leadership that he, he's about, he's going to continue to help. Even though he doesn't play, he's going to, he's always into the game. Troy, just to get back out there in live action after a week's worth of camp, how would you assess your play and the team's play? 
I mean, for me personally, I definitely felt like I started off um, kind of rough. You know, it's just different environment. We haven't played in an arena, like an actual like game arena since March. So it definitely felt weird, uh, especially like just getting to the flow of things. We have a basically a brand new team. Um, and so, you know, it was, it was pretty weird just coming out there the first moment. Uh, but I think in the sense of the second half, I got more of a flow. Um, I felt more like myself and I was very confident in my game. Uh, coach called me out on rebounding and playing defense. And so I took the challenge. And for me personally, I felt like I played pretty good. So. Troy, in terms of facilitating, um, Scott talked in the pregame really about there's there's a surplus at that position with some right. veterans, obviously Russ, Hio, and um, with Ish. But for you, getting the ball off the carom, does that actually spark you to just facilitate it yourself? Have you been given kind of the green light to just push tempo and, and facilitate offense? No, for sure. I definitely say like that helps me get into the flow of the game. Um, I mean, we, we do have so many playmakers on the court, but for me personally, uh, being able to get the ball and just come down and, you know, even if I'm not making the initial play, just being able to kind of touch the ball, get a feel and, you know, make the initial the initial start of the offense definitely helps me a lot. I understand how many guys we have that are capable of doing that. So for me personally, that's where my versatility comes in and I have to be able to do multiple things on the court. So, um, you know, I just, I just, try to play my game you know at the beginning of the game uh, I'm in a new team I'm trying to understand my teammates and kind of like read the game the way Scott wants us to play and just move the ball and, and I think be a player out there that we try to help the team and do whatever I have to do if I have to shoot if I have to score depending on who I am on the court I'm just trying to uh, play the game how uh, how Scott and how I think it's it's the best way to play um, I think number wise, I did great. I think uh, uh, there's always a uh, place for improvement and, and I think I'm going to work on that and, and try to um, take advantage of my opportunities. Appreciate that. Yeah. Fred. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Um, I am wondering you, this is kind of your first time playing alongside Ruby and and Denny with those two guys specifically what have, what have they shown you in the last week and a half in practice and, and what did you think of their performances tonight? sorry you say you say Denny and who and Ruben? Ruben. um you know Denny is very talented I was just talking to somebody in the bench he's very very talented um young so he got a lot to learn and a lot to 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 get better but um, I mean, he's a he's a very good player. He's been playing professional overseas for for a while, so I think that helps him to kind of understand the game and play the game the right way. Um, <laughs> I, we talked a little bit, and he seems kind of nervous, which is which is good. You know, it's normal for him, a uh, 19 year old kid, just first first game in the league, and and, and I think he did great. He did, he did a, he did well, and um, he showed a lot of talent. Uh, Rui is also a very, very good player. You know, strong and plays hard and plays good defense. He's probably going to be our guy that's going to be uh, – today he was guarding KD and against guys in this league that are tall and, and can't score. I think he's a very good defensive player, and, and offensively he just uh, um, is strong and trying to kind of, uh, you know, play bully ball and, and, and get fouls. And I think he's going to be a big piece for us too. I, I'm also wondering, specifically with Denny, um, he he's six nine and he's a wing, but in so many ways, like he'll push the ball up the floor, he'll he'll find guys for corner threes and all that. Like, do you do you talk to him at all about kind of seeing the game as, even though he's not a point guard, kind of teaching him the way to see the game as you know through a point guard's eyes? Yeah, yeah, I talk to him a lot. I try not to be too hard, you know, because sometimes there are a lot of details that I see that. Kind of, I kind of want to let him learn uh, in the game, you know. Like today, he was every every time they score, he was staying to take the ball out, and I was like, "You don't take the ball out. You run. You're like a wing. You have to go to the corner, and get ready." Um, but you know, those those small things, he's gonna learn. And and like I said, he's he's very young, and he show that he's really talented. And I think uh, he's gonna learn. He's gonna get better. Um, we saw he can shoot. He can dribble. He can. Uh, drive he can uh, you know pass you know I think it's just gonna let the game come to him and, and I think when he gets the flow of the game he's gonna be very 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 good
Thanks, man. Yeah. Anthony. Hey, Raul. Congrats on a great night tonight. Um, early on, you were guarding Kyrie. I guess, how was that assignment early on for you? Um, you know, we always take that as a, as a compliment, you know, when you're guarding somebody like, like Kyrie uh, and take as a, you know, a challenge. Of course, he, he scored a lot, of, a lot of points at the beginning. Um, I thought I played good defense, just not good enough. You know, he's a, he's a great player. He's an all-star, and he hit the shots. Um, so, you know, I took the challenge, and uh, I learned from it, um, and I think uh, I'll do better the next time. But, you know, it's always, it's always tough, tough to guard somebody like him that can score any, any way, uh, hit tough shots. I think it's, uh, it's very hard, but um, I always like the challenge. And you made three threes uh, that matched the most you've ever made in a EuroLeague game. Uh, where did the, the confidence come from? I mean, it seemed like there was no hesitation at all. First of all, I'm not afraid of anything. And, and don't, expect to, don't expect it to be perfect like that all the time. And, and I know it. I mean, I shot perfect today, but I'm not expected to shoot like that next time. I'm going to put those shots in confidence. I'm going to keep those reps. I'm repping a lot, a lot, a lot of shots and 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 uh keeping up with my mechanics but um i know i'm just gonna shoot it with confidence and what's gonna happen gonna happen i'm not expect i'm not gonna expect the next games that i'll be perfect from from the three-point line but you know if i have that confidence and i'm and, and i'm gonna shoot it so you know i might as well not be afraid fred hey danny how you doing I was just wondering, you, you, you seem to make a lot of kind of quick decision passes, finding corner three shooters, pushing on the break hard. What, what are your reads in those situations? Like when you're in the middle of the floor and you're finding Rui for that spot up three in the corner, where, where are you looking? What are you thinking? You say it is a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it, they're good passes. And I'm wondering, like, I'm trying to see, like, how you, how you see the game. How do you get through on there? Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the, the answer is. Um, first of all, I, I played in in a system, and I played professional, and I know how rotation how rotations go, um, and and I learned the game of basketball. In the end of the day, um, I'd be playing pro for 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 three years, and that helped me a lot to understand the game and understand what what players do and where they stand. And I always see my peripheral vision, everybody. Like, I mean, when I'm driving to the basket, I can see Rui in my, in my left eye open. So I see if I have a guy on me, I know a, a help guy on me, that's Rui's defender, Rui's gonna be open in the corner. So it's just understanding of the game and the vision. Uh, I can't really explain you how I'm doing it. It's, it's all in here, so uh, um, that's about it. Yeah, no, thank you, Danny. You're welcome. Chris? Vinny, congratulations, man, on your NBA debut. Um, besides the perfect night at the field, one aspect of the game for people that have never really seen you play is with your size and your float game. Have you already always had a floater? And when did you start developing that? The floater? Yes. I mean, floater in the end of the day is like, is, is I think it's is, uh, a decision. It's like, um, it's like sort of a decision and a touch combined. So if I see... Um, a tall player in front of me. Um, if you have a good touch and, and you know, like with the ball, so you just throw it up there. You, I worked on it, like every aspect of my game and, and just was, I was confident and it, it went in, nothing, nothing beside that. Quentin. Congratulations on your night, Denny. Thank you. First question for you, how fun was it for you to just be out there flying around, not playing against your own guys, playing against some people in a different jersey, and you're able to go out there and perform as you expect to perform? How, how was that for you? It's amazing. Um, I mean, it's, it's a dream coming true, and I worked so hard for it, and people don't understand what I've, what I've been through. Um, like, Four years ago, I was I was just a kid who was going up to the professional league, and I was so nervous going on the court. And I think my first game, I scored one point, and it was a it was a it was a, a hell of a journey for me to get here. 
And I woke up early um, throughout all the seasons. Uh, I went, laid the shoot. I was always in the gym working and, and, and while my friends are, are hanging out. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's what brought, brought me here. And that's why it's so fun. So you perform because you know, you did those things and you worked so hard and, and I'm not, and, and, you, and I see what it brings me. So I'm never gonna um, um, take the foot out of the gas, you know? always going to work extra. And also we saw at one point, Russell Westbrook had a clipboard in his hand and he seemed. What do you say? This Scott Brooks and coach Brooks said that, uh, working with the young guys. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't hear you. Can you repeat the question, please? If there was laggy. My bad. What is Russell like on the bench for you guys? We saw him with the clipboard at one point, he's coaching up the young guys. What is that like having him on the bench? Russell bring a lot of happiness, smiles, and, and, and he always seems so happy and, and um, make us love the game. You know, he loves the game. And he's a super competitor. Um, he's going to be there for you. He's going to be there for you whenever you need him. Um, and he's a great player to learn from. So I'm glad, I'm glad he's on my team. Um, you know, at the halftime, we talk about the coaches and the whole team. Um, you know, we just got to play harder, you know. Um, we know they have a two like best, you know, one of the best players in the league. You know, we have to challenge it. You know, we the first half we were kind of like, you know, let them do whatever they want, and so that's why we came out with a good energy the third quarter, and then our defense was pretty good. Can you talk about the challenge that you uh, were presented tonight, going up against Kevin Durant, playing his first game uh, in the last couple of years? Um. You know, he's like one of the, my um, favorite players to watch, you know, growing up. You know, he's tall, he can move like a girl, you know, he, he's like shooter. Um, but, you know, like him, I think it was the first time I played against him, you know. Oh, actually, I played against him in uh, the Nike camp when I was in the college. But, you know, he's, he, you know, guarding him is like, you know, very important, like, uh, especially in this league, you know, uh, my positions always like, you know, have a, the best player, you know, like uh, LeBron, Kawhi, Giannis, KD, you know, so I have to, I have to guard those guys, you know, every, every, every night, you know, it's going to be a different matchup, but, you know, for defense, really, you know, I have to uh, focus on to stop them, yeah, scoring. Fred. Hey, Rui, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? Um, we have for like a year now, whenever one of us asks you about the thing you wanted to improve on the most, especially during your rookie year, you always say spacing. That's always your answer. Your spacing was very different tonight from what we saw from you last year. A lot of stuff inside and a lot of stuff from three. Do you feel like you're a lot more comfortable with that now than you were last year? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, now I play a lot of games. I watch a lot of films, you know, um, you know, it's been, yeah, sorry, but yeah, you know, it's it, you know, I watch a lot of film and stuff, and then you know, especially for threes, you know, uh, right now in the NBA, you know, the four man, three mans, you know, two, like you know, we all kind of like the same position, you know, you have to space out, you know, shoot threes, and especially me, like you know, I uh, have a strong body, so you know, I can use like match up, you know, like you guys saw, like the first quarter, you know, I was in the inside a lot, and then. The, the second half, you know, I was more outside and the shooting threes and stuff, you know. For me, like, I can do a lot of stuff, you know. It depends on the matchup or, like, you know, the feeling, like, you know, in the game, like, you know. So, you know, that's what, that's what my, you know, that's why I, I'm going to keep doing it. And especially if Brad's coming back and uh, Russell, you know, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to have a more free, like a free, you know, free look. So, like, you know, you have to be ready to shoot the threes and stuff. And you, you had a couple moments where you were, you were fighting hard down low, too. I know you said the other day that you put on 10 or 15 pounds of muscle over the off season. Do you feel like that's, that helped you tonight? Yeah, for sure. You know, I feel strong, you know, more balanced. And then, you know, I walked to my trainer, you know, this summer, I mean, this off season, you know, um, you know, yeah, I feel strong in the back into this call, you know, I feel, yeah, I have to keep, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to Japanese. We're a little short on time tonight. Uh, how old Neto just sat down in the other room if you'd like to go over there and join. Uh, Zach, I'll turn it over to you. Sure, thanks.